Now, the Thai military has insisted that a huge exodus of undocumented Cambodian workers has not been by force. About 120,000 workers have crossed the border, fearing a crackdown on illegal immigrants. Many more are expected to flee in the coming days. Veronica Pedroza reports from the Thai-Cambodia border. You'd think there'd been a war or a terrible natural disaster. More than 100,000 people getting out of Thailand as fast as they can with whatever they can carry. Cambodian workers say they're afraid they'll be arrested, harassed, or even killed by soldiers acting for the military who took over government nearly a month ago. Relations between Thailand and Cambodia have always been complex, and that's one of the reasons why so many people are trying to leave so quickly here. Departing migrants are taken here to be registered. Thailand's economy relies on casual migrant labor from neighboring countries, not just Cambodia, but millions from Myanmar and fewer from Laos. Thai governments have failed to stop abuses like trafficking and slavery. Against that background, Mao didn't want to take any chances. He's taking his wife and young child back, even though he's worked in Thailand for seven years and his employer asked him to stay. The Thai military and foreign affairs ministry deny there's been any crackdown on workers like him. But Mao's packed as much as he can because that's not what he's been hearing from his friends and family. Remember, speaking against the military rulers is expressly forbidden. I will go back to Cambodia. I am scared. Scared that if I am arrested, I might not get to come home. The governor of this Cambodian province has been trying to cope with the unprecedented numbers returning home here. Many, many people coming here and we don't have the project, we don't have the budget, we don't have the people for organize, for receive them. The next leg of Mao's journey homes being provided by an international agency. It's a free ride at an uncertain time and Mao is ambitious for his son. I want his future to be better. I want him to continue to study so that he will not have a difficult life like I do. Migration is a thorny matter for governments, but for migrants, it's their hope for a better deal for the next generation. And Veronica joins us live now from the Thai-Cambodian border. Uh, Veronica, so just tell us what's happening there where you are. Are people still trying to get back into Cambodia? They are indeed, but in the same way that the numbers swelled significantly, dramatically even earlier on in the week, they are now dwindling significantly. We're actually on the Thai side of the border, and what you're seeing behind me is the arrival of Cambodians into Thailand. There are people who come across the border just for daily casual labor. They'll go back home at the end of the day. Uh, it's been a steady stream of people, so it seems that there are also workers who are not put off at all by the situation under the new military rulers in the country. Now, uh, what I understand is that where 45,000 people crossed the border on Saturday, um, yesterday, Monday, only 10,000 uh, went across the border. So it does look as though it's dropping off. To what extent that is due to a big PR drive by the ruling uh, military governing body, the NCPO, National Council for Peace and Order, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who've been saying over and over again that there is no official policy to crack down on undocumented workers from Cambodia. To what extent is due to that, we don't know yet, because um, many of the workers were saying that they didn't pay attention in the first place to what was being said. They were listening to their friends and family who were very worried about their situation. Don't forget that Thailand is uh, in what one uh, newspaper here, the Bangkok Post, has called probably its worst week for its international human rights image. Just last week it failed, it was the only country to refuse to sign a protocol that would strengthen international regulations against slavery. Um, it is being threatened with the possibility of uh, being downgraded into something called tier three on its human trafficking record. So I think what this has brought out is the challenge before the military rulers to do something to uh, document, to legalize, regularize, and protect the millions of migrant workers on which the economy is dependent. Veronica, thank you.